Hey guys, it's Carrie. Good to see you. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to show you guys something really fun that I did yesterday as a celebration. Check this out. I got my septum done. Mm -hmm. I have been wanting to have this done for years and years and years. And one of my daughters, when she was 16, I took her to go get her um, septum pierced and I've been really wanting it since then, since then but I didn't want to be too much of a copycat either but now that my cancer is stable I'm doing some super celebrations with that too and doing stuff that I would normally not have the the guts to do because I'm doing you know that whole challenge of challenging myself to living outside of my comfort zone and being really happy with with those um, decisions because it's just been so fun to push myself like that so yeah I went and got my nose pierced my septum done that's pretty cool ah. um, one of the things that kind of brought me around to thinking about is pain and the reason why this is such a celebration um, for being stable is that you know a lot of times in our lives we get pain that we just don't get to choose it's misery and all that and you have to find ways to get around it get through it charge up that hill and all that but this is a kind of celebration pain of where I get to choose that kind of pain and celebrate it because I got through that too if that makes sense um so that just means that I get to, you know, it's, it's a symbol for myself of, of uh, something that I'm getting through, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited about this. It's it's so new and it's fun and it doesn't hurt. It didn't hurt to get pierced. I thought it was going to be pretty painful. And I, this one actually was more painful to get done than this one. This really felt like nothing. Plus, I had a super cool experience with the piercer. I went to a door in West in Beaverton. And um, the guy who did it, his name is Billy, uh, he was super magical. And Casey went with, with me, my my soul husband um, went with me and it was just so much fun the guy when I was getting my nose and pierced we went through this whole meditation um, experience together it was fantastic that was the most fun piercing I've ever had and I, I can't speak enough good things about them about Adorn West and Billy there holy crud um, from now on I'm definitely gonna go to him and nobody else but him and that's so great so yeah, I just wanted to check in and say hi. Today I am just hanging out. I am so exhausted with the whole part of me feeling, you know, better because I'm all excited about being stable. I have been running myself into the ground. Yes, but I'm feeling like, you know, just fine until I'm not feeling fine, you know, and then I have to be, hey, Carrie, you need to slow down. Um, so today I'm just really, really chilling out. Um, I, I, you know, I've been thinking a lot about our challenges for the summer, too, and I really hope that others will join me in this and then choosing things that are difficult for them or outside of their comfort zone kind of levels and pursuing those goals and conquering those goals. And let me know about that. I love hearing your stories. I love how you, hearing that you guys are going out of your comfort zone and achieving certain successes with with whatever your goals are it just honestly it lifts my spirit to hear that stuff so please continue to leave messages down below and let me know what you're going through how can i lift you up as well because this is just such a celebratory time for me and you know, sorry to project it on everybody, but not sorry, because, you know, this is, you know, with every, all the yuck stuff, there's also just so much good stuff, and I'm not trying to sound like positive toxic, I mean, toxic positivity or anything like that, it's just, it's really good to work through some shit, you know, I mean, it feels really good, like, when you're in the middle of it, and you know that you're conquering that jam, and it just feels so good to be, like, when you're almost out of that, um, darker phase and you, you know that light that positive stuff and that healing and stuff starts happening it's just it's an amazing place to be and that's kind of I feel like the season for me right now that I'm going through is a whole lot of celebration um, my partner Casey and I are continuing to film again we had to take a break um, on our other channel Carrie and Casey intuitive we do a lot of, you'll see if you go and check it out, it's, it. you know, you guys know I'm a psychic medium and so is my partner and we're both, I'm a Reiki master and he's a Reiki practitioner and we go do healings, we do clearings of houses and all sorts of stuff to help people through their, their journeys and I live for it, but I had to take a break for it for a while now, probably about the last six months 
And just because, you know, with cancer, I was doing chemo and all of the radiation and everything else cancer related. All those had 11 surgeries this year, cancer related. It's been a real tough year, but, you know, I feel like I'm finally starting to, you know, get out of that forest there and wow, it's such a good place. So yeah, I'm just surrounding myself with, we've been going swimming every day. That's a huge challenge. I started that um, challenge for, what is it? The Cancer Society. So all of July, there is a swimming challenge and um, you raise money for um, people going through cancer, which for me, it's a different place because you're supposed to swim like 15 miles within that month, which is a really awesome idea. But the reality for me is that any little thing is like swimming a hundred miles because I, you know, with my pelvis pain from the cancer in my pelvis, I, the majority of the winter, I could hardly walk and the pain has just been so excruciating. Even now, I mean, I'm still, even though I'm stable now, I still have that cancer there. I mean, though, the one in my lungs right there on my nodes is about that big. And then I have another one, where is it, below it, that it's about the same. So it's huge. Those, even though it's stable, it still presses against my ribs. It, it makes some difficult breathing. It's, it's pretty painful. Um, and I still have it, you know, in my pelvis bone and new areas and stuff like that. But it's, it's stable. But those areas are still pretty painful. So my escape has been going to the pool. And Casey's been going with me. And it's been so good. So good for my soul. I live in the water. The water is my absolute happy space. And um, I love to swim. I grew up on, you know, doing swim team. I was a lifeguard at a water park and did all sorts of swimming stuff. Water has just been my world. I taught all my kids how to swim, um, just because I, I didn't. I, it was too much fun. You know, I don't want somebody else to raise, you know, show my kids how to swim. I, I showed them how to do all the strokes and stuff. Raise them. They all know how to do CPR. Or, you know, water's just been a, they used to call us the fish family. It was so much fun. Kids, you can relate. You know this one. But, um, yeah, we pretty much are. But so that kind of continues now as part of my celebration as well as the, the energy from the water. And it just, it's so empowering. Um, so I'm just soaking it all up. And I would love to hear what you guys are going through too. And let me know what areas you're kind of soaking it all up. I'll leave those comments below. Um, I try to respond to a good portion of the the messages and the comments that are left below but sometimes I you know I can't get around to all of them necessarily but just know that I do read them and you know when I click the heart on there I mean it it's not like a superficial click heart oh yay good, that's cool no I really really appreciate that you guys are leaving comments and I love how in the comments on YouTube on my channel that people are starting to lift other people up in this community that we're creating and oh, that just feels so good I I just want to be a part of it for you guys and all of that. I'm so glad you guys are showing up for each other too because that just, that's such a good world. Anyway, I just wanted to check in, give that little insight there and, you know, welcome you into my space and let you know how I'm currently doing right now. I'm, and that's about it. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining my page. Hopefully you'll subscribe below and click the bell so that you don't miss any updates that I put out. I do try to tr film at least once a week, but I shoot for twice a week. This week I might be just this one time just because I'm so exhausted. But, and I, you know, because I swimming is such a huge part of my well-being and my quality of life. I want to make sure that I get, have enough energy to continue swimming and swimming just about every day. Um, today, it's kind of cool though, because you know, everybody's heard about the, in the Portland, I mean, I'm in Portland, you guys know that, but um, in the Pacific Northwest, we've had that huge heat wave and none of us, I mean, no, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, we all know we're not made for this um, type of heat. So today it's cooled down dramatically. Yes, I just hang up there. That was great. Um, but it's cooled down so we can do more, but I'm saving my energy so that way I can do some more swimming. So um, I'll, I might film a little bit more, but you know, yeah. Anyway, so I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for joining. Love you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Live your best life. Leave those comments. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.